Good day. Welcome to Cameras Everything. We got the iMac G4 over here, Sunflower. And I've been wanting to do some upgrades on this. So far, what I've done, I have cleaned it and I replaced the PRAM battery. I did a little dusting inside there. So she's good to go again. I'm kind of glad I did take it apart because there was no heat sink, heat sink compound in this fellow. So whoever knows how many years this ran without it. Obviously it ran fine, but you want to be able to suck the heat away. Especially now it's getting a little older. The wonderful G4, 800 megahertz. So it's pretty, pretty spunky compared to this fellow over here. This is a 266 G3. And that's a great computer. It's actually a really good computer. Uh, the problem is with this fellow, let me zoom you down a little bit here. He's a little pokey. He puts SimCity on there. He kind of grinds away. Ultima, okay. SimCity, not so much. So my goal was with this guy. He is to do SimCity, Ultima. A lot of, mostly just some gaming, some retro gaming, because it's kind of fun. It looks cool. It's fun. It's got a nice display. And it's got really nice speakers, so that's the best part. But I did find, uh, I looked through all my stash of memory. I found some 128s, uh, 256. I did find one, just one, 512. But I'm thinking, you know, if you were back uh, when this guy came out in 2000, 2002, uh, if you had 256 mega RAM, you had pretty much memory. If you if you had 512, you were like, you were, you were flying. That was cool. But if you had a gig of RAM, you spent a ton of money. And I'm going to guess with this guy, it's got 256 right now. We're going to, I'll show you here. Um, if you doubled it, you're probably not going to use that much memory. You probably never would. Uh, you put a gig in here. It's going to be a weight back in the day. That's not a waste, but it sounded cool, but we're going to put 512. I'm going to give this 768 total Ram. So no matter what we throw at it, this will be, this will be fine. It actually be more memory than it probably ever could use. So I'm going to put this guy over. I'm going to, I got the towel. Where's the towel at? It's all somewhere. I'm going to lay her face down, take the back out, put the memory. I'll show you how easy it is. I couldn't believe how simple this one is. You do have to flip it over because you really, the only way you get to, uh, the, uh, so dim on here is through the bottom, but there is, um, just a, a, a SIM in there or a, a dim, SIM dim, uh, memory, just a normal, uh, PC 133 memory, which I don't have. I can't find. Otherwise it would just swap that out. Uh, but maybe at some later point we can take the 256, put it, make it a 512 and give the full one gig. Cause I think this just supports one gig. So let's flip it over, put the memory in. We have this bad boy flipped over. Uh, basically all you have to do, there's five, wait, wait one, two, three, four screws on here. They're Phillips screws and they're captive. So they got little springs on them. So all you need is a little Phillips screwdriver, take them off, and this back panel will pop off. And I already kind of loosened them, see they're nice and springy. And the little back panel, he just kind of pops off like that. You can see their little captive screws on springs. And then the memory module is right here. You can see there's nobody in here right now. We're going to pop him in, and that's it. Put the case back together. So let's see. There we go. That's it. That's it, guys. There you go. On there. And we'll put this fellow back on. Let's see where are the holes at. Right here. This is the hard part getting the holes lined up. Pretty simple. It's got to snug them. I'm not going to crank. You don't want to crank these things down. You just want to snug. Let them fall off. There we go. That should be it. Okay. Case is on. Four screws tight. I'm going to pop it back up. Stand her up. Take a look at it. Okay, so we have her back on the stand. We're going to turn her on. Let you get the, the full effect of the sound. Let's see, where's the bottom here? Here's the bottom. Get it rolling away. Yeah, ain't that a lovely sound? So let's just boot up and then we will log in. Look how dirty it is. Very dirty. Uh, you know, next thing I'll do a little cleanup. But like I said, the next project we're going to do, we're going to wipe this out, format it, put the, I think the 10 dot something, can't remember which uh, OS on here was the last one that this supported. So it's a little newer than what's on here. And that way it'll be nice and fresh, clean, all the crap that's been already installed and uninstalled and messed up over 18 years or whenever the last time it was used. I think it'll be a little more crisp and fast. And she's booting up and we're in. I'll just show you the memory just to make sure it's detecting it. You can see a lot of stuff. And maybe we'll even put an SSD in here at some point, but uh, it's kind of hard to see it very 
lot of glare here. I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not. We'll zoom in. But it does show 768 megabyte of RAM, 800 megahertz part PC. So it's got the memory. So we're really cool about that. So anyway, that's how we upgrade the memory. Quick, easy, fast. One of the simplest things I've ever done on a computer. So like I said, next time, OS update. But we're getting closer to having fun. Oh, so here we go. 10.4.11 is the version that's on. I think we got a little newer version than that. And that'll be the next part. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That is, well, hold on. Whoa, you guys have a great day.